Hello everyone, welcome to my review channel. Today we are reviewing the GB40 NOCO Boost Plus. So, this I honestly have to recommend to everybody and their uncle because this product is so amazing and so helpful that everybody needs to stop what they're doing. Check out the link in my video description and go check it out. It is going to be the best money you've ever spent on something related to your vehicle. And that is, have you ever been in the situation where your battery dies or you see someone in a parking lot and their battery's dead? Well, you can literally jump somebody's vehicle, ATV, four, um, ATV dirt bike, go-kart, your vehicle, pickup truck, SUV, van, whatever with this little guy. So this is actually charged in your house. So you simply connect this and charge it, and you connect these to your battery and jump anybody's battery. And of course, it also has a USB for charging tablets, um, your phone, and whatnot. Okay, so when it's fully charged, you will see that it stays a solid green, and that means your NOCO Boost is ready and fully charged. Let's go test it out. It has a good demonstration. So here we are in the vehicle. Keys in. Battery's dead. All right, let's go ahead and use it. All right, so you connect this. Make sure you don't touch these ends with each other. Um, they're pretty protective, but try and keep them away from touching once it's turned on and once it's connected. So first you want to locate your positive and negative. Normally your positive is red and your negative is black. But just make sure. On your battery there should, should be a minus sign and a plus sign. The plus sign is positive, the minus is negative. So what we'll go ahead we will line this up how we want to do it. Go ahead and connect it then. So let's see, we want to lift this up, make this easier. So we're doing this with one hand, it's a little bit harder holding. Let's go ahead, connect our positive right like that, and take our negative. connect it just like that so you got your positive and negative connected now what we're going to go ahead and do is press the power button and let it on for a couple seconds and we should be able to go we should be able to now turn the key and it should fire right up it's a good rule of thumb well, we'll say it afterwards. There we go. Just like that. Now here's very important. Turn it off. Press the button to turn it off. Take your negative off. I mean your positive or negative, doesn't matter. All right, once they're both off, you are good to go. Just like that. You see how lifesaver this can be go ahead disconnect it just like that and store it safely somewhere in your vehicle out of the Sun you don't want the Sun to hit it so in your glove box or under a seat or something you can go ahead and reuse this for it to bite down on all right we went ahead and put everything in our bag right here now we're going to go ahead and put this under our seat. So it's a very good rule of thumb. After your battery's dead or, you know, after you jump it, always let your vehicle run for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Or go for a 10 to 15 minute drive. Keep all your accessories off, you know, just keep your AC off, your heat off and everything. Um, give your chance, uh, your alternator a chance to recharge your battery up to its full potential and you're good to go.
That simple, my friends. That simple. Links in my video description where you can get this from a safe seller. You got to be careful. There's a lot of knockoffs that are cheaper, but let me tell you, they can explode. Some of the cheap knockoff ones are really bad that they can actually explode. So please don't don't be a fool. Buy the legit ones, and I'll put legit companies in my video description where you guys can check them out. Thank you guys for watching. You can recharge smartphone, tablets, and other USB devices when you need them the most. Not only that, it also has a light on here. Um, it's just, why I'm hyping this up before we even unbox it is because I own not one, not two, but this is the third one. In fact, we're going to be getting another one, a fourth one, for Christmas. So here's one. There's the box. There's another one. And I have one in my Mustang. All right, let's unbox this. So this is what it looks like. It's a very simple, small little device. Now, there's gonna be different um, sizes and models. And for the, your average person, this one is gonna be completely fine and big enough. So this is 1,000 amps. I'll put a link in the video description for bigger ones because some people need bigger ones for, let's say, farming equipment or people that have um, other much larger scale batteries. But for your average person, you know, I, we have a thousand cold cranking amp battery in our Mustang and this works completely fine with it. And most people are not going to have a thousand uh, cranking amp, cold cranking amp battery. So yeah, you know, you get a little pouch here, you get a little inverter here, so you can charge this, you know, using your vehicle battery if you need to, or anything else. Um, so to charge this at home is very simple. You, let's see, let's show you guys this here. So here's the light, which, there you can see it. Here it shows you the battery um, of the actual box here. You press that to turn it on. So we need to charge it. And let's say your battery is completely dead and it's causing, um, when a dead battery is present, sometimes it will say an error. And what you have to do is just simply press this button to bypass that. And it will bypass, see right now, it bypasses the error and it will completely it will charge your battery, um, your car battery. So that's just how to bypass it. For most people, all you're going to need to do is press this button and connect it to your vehicle. But some people, if you connect this to your vehicle and it doesn't start, then you bypass it and you press and hold this button. And then you go ahead and you connect it, and that bypasses everything, and it gives its full juice to your car battery. And that's just kind of a nice feature. Um, so this, you just simply plug this right inside here. So you plug that in here. So the clamps go right in there. And then you just simply clamp them onto your positive and negative terminal of your battery. And that's it. So here it says USB in, USB out. So in means you're charging. So you connect this, that guy right there, right in here to charge. I'll show you. All right, so now it's charging. And that will go the whole way up there, just like that. And for out, if you want to actually charge something, like your phone or something, then you put it out. So out sends the signal to whatever you're charging. So they only supply, um, with this kit, let's see, yeah. They only supply your 12 volt. So you would plug this into um, your vehicle. So they only supply that to charge it. So what it is, it charges with a USB. You can actually plug this into your computer and it will charge it. So anything that has a USB port, you could charge by um, doing that. Um, so what I would say to you is buy a, most people now, because we all have smartphones, 
have a USB charger for your phone that connects into your wall outlet and then you just simply connect your charger to that. Um, I'll put a link in the video description where you can get this and all the chargers and everything needed. That way you got everything ready to go. But this has saved me so many times and I highly recommend it. I will show you guys how this works because I'm going to leave our vehicle lights on in our Explorer, let it die, let it drain the battery and show you how this works. So stay tuned guys, that's coming.